Man, I'm taking off in this off season. Dead weight, had to cut off in this off season. So, I might pop off for any reason. And it's off season. And it's off season. Yeah, so my name is Sean Mambugere. Um I'm a dancer and choreographer. I've been dancing for over 13 years now. And um, that's what I do most of my time. <laughs> Can't you write all of that on a blackboard and then put it as a you know, the teleprompter? Let's be reading. News. The news headlines read by yours, Oscar Pambuka. Headlines. <laughs> The program is Elevate Step Up and we are indeed stepping up the game. And the name's DJ Mox. What up? And I am Eric Andoro. We are here once again to motivate the youth to work hard and reach their fullest potential. And today we are hanging out with Sean Mambuere, the dancer and choreographer. Step, step, step Up with Elevate. Yes, the man who shelved his mathematics degree for the dance floor. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo. Sean Mambuere. Yeah. Now let's get into a little bit about uh, Sean Mambuere. Now he is a hip hop choreographer. He's also an instructor at the M and M Dance Factory. He studied uh, an honors degree in applied mathematics at the National University of Science and Technology in Zimbabwe, and we all know that as NAST. So today we are going to tackle the story behind the unusual career switch. But need I remind you, he dropped his career for dance. Sounds good, doesn't it? That's Star FM. Sounding good all the time, anytime. 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 Now, let's talk about stereotypes and perceptions that are attached to dancing, particularly in our society. What challenges do you encounter in the first days and when you decided to shelf your degree and pursue what your heart wanted? What did people say to you and how did that make you feel? That's an interesting question. Um, the challenges I faced, clearly, because the situation was not conducive, was my parents were like, you are choosing to do what? We sent you to school. <laughs> so that you can We work. paid your fees from primary, yeah. secondary, tertiary education. And then you're coming back to us and telling us that. I know you want to stop the yard. You want to stop the yard. <laughs> we don't even have a lawn and you want to stop the yard. What's going on? Uh, you know, and... Um, but... For me, the passion was much more heavier mm -hmm. than the circumstances around me. And I think that's what's really important. If whatever it is that you love is important and is heavier than all the pressures you're facing, you go forward and you push through it. Fantastic. Find us on Facebook. Visit our page at Elevate Youth ZW. All the way back in June. And just what I think the National Arts Council for all the hard work that you're, that you're doing to support the arts. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed the journey. I guess it is true what they normally say, that you have to do your own growing, no matter how tall your grandfather is. I've had the privilege of traveling and moving around with this gift. I've toured places like Germany and China and Botswana and Zambia and South Africa, just to name a few. Yeah, uh, I think my word of encouragement to uh, upcoming dancers is simple. Never let your talent take you to a place where your character cannot sustain you. We have a lot of people who are talented, but once they get to their preferred destination, they do not have the character because they have not taken the same amount of time to work on their character the same way that they work on their talent. So I'm not saying that I'm the best in the business, but I've worked on both aspects of my humanity. The talent itself and the character. Because talent will get you there, but it's character that allows you to stay there for as long as you can be. So that would be my advice. I want to try and make it too philosophical or technical. Just make sure that your talent is sustained by your character which you work at in equal amounts. I started in 2006 
Uh, that was during my second year at the National University of Science and Technology, where I was doing a degree in applied mathematics. And it comes down to passion and calling for me. There are people that have, that have, that have really impacted my life uh, over the years. Um, I think a shout out is to our studio, Eminem Dance Factory, to me and Melanie. They've been amazing and um, they are gifted and talented. Um, another shout out goes to my family. Uh, they've supported me all the way. And um, my wife, love you very much. You know, uh, hope to do more things with you. But above everything, the glory goes to God. You know, um, we can do all these things. I can achieve a lot of things. I can win awards. But if the glory does not go to the one who gave you the gift, then there's no point really. I'm a producer for myself, and I, and I picked up that little microphone, and this, this melody came to mind, and I started recording. It was like, it was like and then I, I put the distortion pedal on, and I made it sound like this. Get ya. Yeah.